They are not done here because today we are learning students from more than 2,500 schools all across the United States plan to walk out of their classrooms. The effort was started by a student in Ridgefield with a change.org petition. This is a look at the school districts across our state that are participating today in the nationwide effort. And one of those districts includes Newington, where students at the high school are expected to walk out around 10 o'clock this morning. And that's where we find Fox 61's Aisha Bo with more. Aisha, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you both. We are standing right across here from Newington High School. And as you mentioned, they are one of the schools participating in this walkout. And with me here um, is Cassandra Mayer. She's one of the students behind organizing the walkout here in Newington High School. Cassandra, good morning to you. Um, what made you guys uh, feel the need to participate in today's national walkout? Um, you know, we all have different reasons for getting involved. Some of us, it was a call to action. Others, we've had experiences. Um, I know. One of the organizers, when Sandy Hook happened, he remembered, you know, what was going on on the day, and um, that just really touched him. So we all have different reasons for getting involved, but um, it's definitely not the same for everyone. Um, and talk to me about what you guys plan to do, because I know that you guys were emphasizing having a respectable environment and uh, giving everyone a chance to voice their own opinion. Yes, it's going to be very nonpartisan. We want to make this event as educational as possible. So we're going to be having a speaker from Project Longevity. We're going to be showing some videos uh, portraying an array of viewpoints. Um, and we're also going to be uh, having students have the ability to get registered to vote and write postcards to lawmakers. So it's going to be getting involved, really. All right, Cassandra, thank you so much. And that walkout will start at 10 o'clock this morning. Of course, make sure you tune into Fox 61 News for those updates. Reporting live in Newington, Aisha Bo, Fox 61 News.